In this video, we are going to see how actually we access Kubernetes cluster. We all know we do not go and log into the master node and run our commands from there, but we usually go with the help of Cloud Shell or we use our local computer to access our cluster and to run our, our kubectl uh, commands right so uh, hello everyone my name is Arun and from today there would be a uh, few small videos on Kubernetes access where we'll be learning how can we make it more secure how it should be and how can we integrate Azure AD with Kubernetes right because Kubernetes by itself doesn't provide any IAM but we can make it uh, better or make it much granular by integrating it with uh, Azure AD or any identity management solution. But since it's AKS, so Azure AD is the one. So to understand all those things, we need to understand uh, first how we access the Kubernetes cluster. This would be fun and, and interesting. Just stay with me and I'll show you and I'll try to keep these videos short and there would be a couple of access videos. So right now you can see on the screen I'm on my demo cluster with KubeRG, the resource group. And we have already covered and even created our vote app and we know how we access. We can easily access with the help of az get credentials command and when we do that there is something called config file comes under dot cube folder which holds all the secrets all the information which is required to access your kubernetes cluster in cloud shell we already have our cube ctl installed you can see we're getting the response but in uh, if you're trying to do that from your local computer you should have installed your uh, kubectl and Azure CLI, of course. So right now, if I do ls hyphen hyphen all, you see uh, there is this dot cube folder right here. Okay, and if I try to remove this, this is because I was doing this before from last, you know, maybe a few days back. So that's why it is there in the cloud shell. But it doesn't hold the credentials of our newly created demo cluster, which I have created just now before starting the video. Uh, dot cube. Okay. Hyphen, hyphen. Oh, sorry. Hyphen, hyphen. All. Cool. It has gone. Now, if I do AZ AKS get credential and resource group resource correct group that is our cube rg and name of the cluster which is demo cluster Enter. Let's see. Okay. All right. So we are in, and if I do ls hyphen hyphen all, we have this dot q file as it says merged because it was there. Yeah, like other clusters, information is already there. Once we get in and see, you'll know what I'm talking about get in and do ls this is the config file which I was talking about this file holds all the information you have to have this file on your local computer if you want to access your kubernetes cluster okay so if I do cat config c this is what I'm talking about this file holds all the information cluster name of the cluster demo cluster that's what we gave the name, all right? And this is the user demo cluster. We have 
this user uh, cert client key and there is a token so in a nutshell you can understand this as a credentials to get into the uh, kubernetes uh, cluster so that you can run your commands from the commands that you run with the help of kubectl okay or you can do all those things that you needed to modify or to run your uh, Kubernetes. For example, if you run this kubectl, kubectl get nodes. Of course, it will not. Uh, it will only give me the node information. Though it was not able to give me that information when I uh, run this without having that dot cube file. Okay, because that is the one which requires the credentials. That is the one which holds the credentials. So uh, let me show you this. If I go to my local machine, this is my, not this. Is this? No, not this. This, this is my uh, local machine. If I do host name, it, this is my local machine, Windows 10 okay i can't even clear my screen cool now here if i do uh, cube ctl version just to show you like we have this cube cdl uh, software installed already i already have azure cli so, and if i do uh, cube ctl get notes it won't give me anything right but let me open this i'm i'm under uh users and my username by which i'm logged in and you can see as soon as i ask for the credentials to the cluster okay unable to connect you see that a folder dot cube would be created here and the config file will come automatically as soon as i ask for the credentials and prior to that i need to log in okay hold on okay yes clear and let's use powershell just wanted to show we used uh, az aks get credentials in the cloud shell but here i just wanted to use a different way that's why I move here and we'll connect to AZ account. <laughs> okay. And the password. All right, so that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Come on. It happens sometimes. Okay, so we are logged into our subscription. Okay. Now, here, if I need to get this config file, which will help me to get into my Kubernetes cluster, I need to import the credentials with the help of this command. Import az aks credentials okay from where you need to go to the resource group what was the name it was cube rg and then you need to provide the name of your cluster what was the name uh, it was simple demo cluster yeah i think that is the correct information if you enter Come on. Yeah. Do you want to import the Kubernetes configuration? Yes. You see at the back screen, which I've opened, once I hit enter, you'll find uh, .cube, right? See, .cube folder comes here. And if you get inside, there's a config file, which holds the same information that I showed you there. You see all the certificate, cluster certificate, user certificate, and there's a token. 
which are used for different uh, like different identities to get into the uh, Kubernetes cluster. So now if I do kubectl get nodes or any modification or if I want to create any port I can do that because I have the access to our nodes or cluster or Kubernetes. Okay, kubectl Oh, my bad. Uh, kubectl get pods. Notice it's found in the default namespace, of course, because there's nothing that we have created, but we get the nodes, right? So this is the access video, so we are not going into the kubectl or those kind of things or how to create pods and all. We have covered a lot of in the previous videos, and a lot more are coming in the upcoming videos. So this is the first video in the uh, access Kubernetes. So that's how we access the Kubernetes. There is a .cube folder inside which there is a config file which holds all the secrets and the certificates which is needed to access the Kubernetes cluster. But the but the catch but the catch or it's not secure because one who has this config file can access everything inside your cluster. Maybe he he not he should not be right. It is more like if you remember we have completed uh, so many videos regarding the security as well. Least privilege principle of least privilege is the way of the best security in identity and access management. So maybe a guy who has to only, uh, you know, check the pod, he shouldn't have the access to everything, right? So that's how it's supposed to be. So giving config file for the Kubernetes cluster is not a prudent approach until he's the one who supposed to be the one who, who should have all the access, like administrator or something like that. But not everyone should have all the access. So in next video, we'll see the other approaches, how things happen uh, in the access series of Kubernetes. This is the very first video just to understand how we access. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.